Welcome to our channel. Today, we bring you top 10 anticipated shows in 2022. Before we continue, please press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon to receive regular updates whenever we upload a video. We are excited for the new year. While we're still savoring the final few days of 2021 and some of the excellent television programs that the year has provided, we're also looking forward to what 2022 has in store in terms of intriguing new series and cherished returning ones. The following are some of the most anticipated television series in 2022. Keep in mind that the calendar is subject to change, and there are only a few games with set release dates. But, in terms of new series and running brands, 2022 is shaping up to be a year with a lot of binge-worthy potential. 10. The Boondocks, HBO Max Despite only having four seasons, The Boondocks' initial run lasted from 2005 to 2014. It was based on the same named comic strip and followed a black family as they moved into a predominantly white neighborhood. HBO Max has ordered a two-season remake of the series for 2022. Before his death in 2019, John Witherspoon was due to return to the production, and it's now unknown who would take over the main character's vocal duties. Fortunately, Aaron Magruder, the series originator and the original comic's creator, is in charge of the relaunch, ensuring that the string stays faithful to its beginnings. 9. The Dropout, Hulu Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of the fraudulent blood testing business Theranos, was the subject of a famous 2019 podcast called The Dropout. Amanda Seyfried will play Holmes in the new Hulu series, including veteran performers William H. Macy, Laurie Metcalf, Stephen Fry, and others in supporting roles. The series will chronicle Theranos' growth and collapse, as well as the court struggles that occurred after it was discovered that Holmes's business had deceived patients, investors, and even the U.S. government. 8. Queer as Folk, Peacock Queer as Folk was pioneering, controversial, and revolutionary when it initially aired in the United Kingdom in 1999. Never before had mainstream television shown an unashamed portrayal of LGBTQ existence. The following year, Showtime debuted their show version, which aired until 2005. Now, NBC's Peacock is developing a remake of the original UK series, based in New Orleans this time. The cast includes a mix of up-and-coming LGBTQ performers and Hollywood veterans like Kim Cattrall, a gay legend. The series is part of Peacock's strategic aim to obtain more paying members since the streaming service struggles to attract new viewers. 7. Wednesday, Netflix Wednesday is almost here on Netflix. Wednesday Adams is returning for her show, and she's weird, wacky, intriguing, and frightening. Wednesday is directed by Tim Burton and stars Jenna Ortega as Wednesday, with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Louis Guzman as Wednesday's famous parents, Gomez and Morticia Adams. Gwendolyn Christie and Thora Birch are two more well-known actresses see below for their brand new characters in the franchise. The legendary characters from the Adams Family will be seen in a whole new light in the eight-part comic drama series. This Wednesday, Netflix will examine the titular character days as a student at the Nevermore Academy in the tiny town of Jericho, where she has both friends and adversaries. She must negotiate new and complicated relationships, master her developing psychic gift, and stop a heinous murder spree that has scared the local school. Wednesday must also uncover the otherworldly mystery that engulfed her parents 25 years ago, as if that weren't enough. 6. Our Flag Means Death, HBO Max our Flag Means Death, a forthcoming HBO Max series, is a historical comedy about a nobleman who left his family to become a pirate. Several Kiwi comedians, including Reese Darby and Taika Waititi and SNL alumni Fred Armisen and Leslie Jones, will appear on the show. Steed Bonnet, an English nobleman from Barbados who traveled to the Bahamas and found himself working alongside Blackbeard, is the program's subject. Thanks to its outstanding ensemble, the series is sure to be one of the funniest of the year. 5. As We See It The first trailer for Prime Video's new comedy drama series As We See It has been published. The series will follow three 20-something housemates on the autistic spectrum as they attempt to find and hold jobs, make friends, fall in love, and navigate a world that eludes them, according to a press statement from Amazon. These roommates face difficulties and victories on their distinct journeys to independence and acceptance, with the assistance of their families, aides, and sometimes even each other. The roommates are newcomers Rick Glassman, Albert Rutecki, and Sue Ann Pine. Each of the three performers is on the autistic spectrum. 
In addition, Jason Caddams, best known for writing Friday Night Lights and developing the NBC series Parenthood, has released his latest endeavor. As We See It is inspired by the Israeli show On the Spectrum, and executive producers Dana Edidis and Yuval Schaeferman are the show's original creators. HBO Max is presently airing the original series. 4. The Gilded Age The first trailer for the series, which can be seen above, depicts the old money versus new money war for dominance of New York City, complete with all the glitz and glam of the 1880s high society. The short, narrated by old money aristocrat Agnes von Riesen, Christine Baranski, shows Maria Brook, Louise Jacobson, receiving a lecture on how the world works from her aunt. My love, power belongs to old New York. This isn't the first time. Never try something new, Agnes explains. However, as the teaser indicates, a new era will begin. The Gilded Age saw a significant economic change, a significant conflict between old and new ways of doing things, and vast fortunes made and lost. After her father died in 1882, Marion Brooke, Jacobson, moved from rural Pennsylvania to New York City to live with her fully old money aunts Agnes von Ryzen, Baranski, and Ada Brooke, Nixon. 3. The After Party the After Party is an upcoming American murder mystery comedy streaming television series created by Christopher Miller that is set to premiere on Apple TV Plus on January 28, 2022. Each episode of The After Party will focus on a different genre as each suspect narrates the events of the night in question, including a musical, an action film, and more, offering viewers insight into the murder as well as the diverse array of individuals. Only Murderers in the Building shows how nicely true crime and humor can work together. Tiffany Haddish, Ilana Glazer, Sam Richardson, Dave Franco, Ike Barinholtz, and Ben Schwartz are among the cast members of The After Party, which was written by Chris Miller, one half of the Chris Miller and Phil Lord duo behind The Lego Movie and 21 Jump Street. Under their production business, Lord Miller, Miller will serve as the series creator, director, showrunner, and executive producer. Anthony King and Lord Miller's SVP on television, Aubrey Lee, will also produce. 2. Pam and Tommy Hulu's new limited series Pam and Tommy digs at the lives of one of the modern era's most iconic and scandalous celebrity couples. The film, directed by Craig Gillespie of I, Tanya, and starring Lily James as actress Pamela Anderson and Sebastian Stan as singer Tommy Lee, tells the story of the couple's quick engagement and the shocking revelation of their honeymoon sex tape. Seth Rogen, who also serves as an executive producer on the film, plays Rand Gother, the electrician who stole the footage. Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee feature Lily James and Sebastian Stan. Their honeymoon sex film became the first viral video ever uploaded without their permission in 1995. Rand Gother and Uncle Minty, played by Seth Rogen and Nick Offerman, are porn business veterans who stole the tape and mass manufactured it to sell online. 1. Peacemaker According to the latest teaser, Peacemaker will be released after The Suicide Squad. Peacemaker collaborates with his co-workers on the assignment they've been given, eradicating any evidence of Project Starfish. When Rick Flagg finds that the US government was participating in the child experiments for Project Starfish, he believes that the evidence should be made public. The Peacemaker feels that this will bring anarchy to the country, so he tries to steal the disc to destroy it on Amanda Waller's behalf. When Rick Flagg attempts to stop him, the two battle and Flagg is killed by Peacemaker. Ratcatcher 2 listens in on everything and steals the hard drive. Peacemaker eventually gets up to her and tries to murder her. On the other hand, Bloodsport comes just in time, shoots Peacemaker, and leaves him for dead beneath the ruins. However, a post credit sequence revealed that Waller's crew had salvaged Peacemaker from the ruins if the planet needed saving again. The line finishes with him lying in the hospital bed, setting the stage for the HBO Max series. Peacemaker's accurate colors are shown in the film's events. He is ultimately concerned with the greater good, even if it means betraying those around him. He's also a staunch supporter of the administration. In an interview with Empire Magazine, James Gunn commented on this. In response to a question about the character, he stated, he isn't a decent person, and he's dressed in the silliest costume you've ever seen. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below which part you like the most. Or click the thumbs up button if you like the video.